Welcome to St. George's the heart of Grenada and some say one of the Caribbean's most beautiful capitals. Today we will experience its vibrant streets and sounds of everyday life and what better way is there to get to the city other than using public transport. Let's go! When you use the public transport, it's most likely that the first place you stop is this bus terminal right here where all the buses go and you see the numbers on them. And when you're done and you want to take a bus to wherever you're going, this is where you come back. From the bus station, if you go to the right, you'll find the fish market. And if you just go just a little bit, you'll see a really good view of the cruise ships and the sea. It's really beautiful. But for this tour, we will take it up these hills. So be ready. St. George's is quite hilly, so everywhere is uphill. And we're going to go see a restored Roman Catholic church. St. George is the main city in Grenada. Anywhere you stay on the island, it's very easy to get here. Public transport and all that. But yeah, and anywhere you go, it's a lookout. Like where I am right now. From the church, walk down Church Street. It's literally that street. <laughs> and then you'll come to the intersection of Church Street and Market Street and take Market Street because you won't go see the market now. So this here behind me is Granada's market, St. George's market. Hello, good afternoon. And here you can find all the spices. So Granada is called the Isle of Spices for a reason. It has all kinds of spices you can think of. And this is the market to find it. So there are very many stalls. You can go around, ask the prices. I cannot buy spices because I'm going around I'm not really going home but yeah if you want spices this is definitely the place to find them if you find these red seeds being dried outside and you're wondering what they are they are the nutmeg seeds remember Grenada is one of the exporters of nutmeg and you find them drying outside <laughs> From the market, you can explore the streets surrounding it a little bit. You'll find a lot of stalls with people selling things outside. And this is the best local experience. Also a few supermarkets around there that you can go in and buy your groceries if you want to. And right from the market, just one street down, you will find the Esplanade Mall, also known as the cruise ship terminal. I'm here at a mall called Esplanade 
mall. I expected it to be like a mall, you know, I've been to big big malls, right? But it is so tiny and so cute. It's just something else. Just kind of reminds you that we're on an island and a small one at that. But inside it looks like every other one. Except it only has one floor, so it doesn't have escalators or elevators or things like that. But yeah. I suspect this is the only mall here in St. George's city. I might be wrong. I'll confirm that. From the Esplanade Mall, if you turn right, you'll come by this tunnel over there, as you can see. But we're not going to take the tunnel. But it's a nice one to see. It was built in 1894, and I think it's the only tunnel here in St. George. You can walk through it. People are walking through it. But I'm not gonna because I want to take these stairs to go to the fort. But there is a tunnel. Now these steps will lead you to Fort George. And even if you don't want to see the fort itself, definitely take the steps because you're gonna see incredible views of the city see it's already starting to show no i'm not on the boat just came on my own okay but take nice photos yes your country is very beautiful very nice and which country are you from kenya oh kenya yes so you're enjoying it here yeah it's very nice do you think you don't want to go back hey i will go back because my family is there okay. <laughs> But Grenada is very beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Right. As you can see, there's another cruise ship in town, but today not as many people as yesterday. Yesterday there were two huge ones. So this here is Fort George and it has one of the most amazing views just another angle literally just go around and you'll see different angles of the of the city and these are the forts here there's like Fort Frederick on the other side and you'll see yet another different view with this time all of St. George behind you this one you can see the cruise ships and the, the market is down there and this side is the carnage it's beautiful When you come here so where i was before was by those flags but you can see the flags uh, by the flag the grenada flag there but you come up these stairs and this is the view <laughs> honestly every point you go is a view and it's addictive look at that the city is very very beautiful wow Wow, wow, wow. St. Judges, everyone in Grenada. So basically what I'm saying is as long as you're in St. George, Judges, Judge in Grenada, anyway, you've got to find a place uphill. It doesn't matter where, just find it. Okay? From St. George, Ford, if you look to the right you'll see this old church so this is St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church and there are like quite a few churches even if it's a small town small city and uh, if you go a little bit to the right and I think you should just take a little detour you'll find a park with a really good view because of the hilly nature of this city as I said every place is a viewpoint look at that it's so beautiful so this park right here is called town of st george's Tresencio park it's a mouthful but the reason i'm telling you about it as a park there's nothing much there's some benches some trees some shade so on a hot sunny day you may want to sit down for a little bit but it offers an incredible viewpoint without even trying it's just a park it's not a viewpoint but as you can see behind me it is incredible the view wow the sea the red buildings all oh, look so vintage so beautiful
and it's right outside like the fort St. George's fort so why not come down here and see an incredible view of the city right and you just keep going a little bit you keep on seeing a very beautiful scenery of the harbor and this is the road we could have taken to go to the famous BB Crack Park restaurant but by the time I was going to Grenada it was already closed permanently and I wasn't able to visit that but the road is definitely worth taking because the views just get more and more breathtaking pun intended after soaking in this amazing view find your way back to St. Andrew's Church and down that street and let's continue with our tour St. George City is marked by these narrow roads as you can see so sometimes cars are parked by the side and people and the cars that are passing actually have to fight for the road so this is one of the charm of the city old red brick buildings and very narrow roads patched on top of a hill with a very nice background so i'm now walking down yang street where you can find like pubs the chocolate factory or house of chocolate a lot of craft shops and galleries as well as restaurants and some pubs While the museum itself is closed, you can actually learn a little about Coco from all the posters they have and the walls and stuff. I was about to roast some. After the roasting process, yeah. you would extract out of the cocoa bean, uh -huh. cocoa nibs. Oh. Alright. Okay. Have you ever tasted cocoa nibs before? No. Open your hand. Oh, Jesus. Oh, put, too many. Put some inside here. Put some inside. Huh? No, instead of using obscenity, I, I say Jesus. <laughs> That's almost like dark chocolate. Oh. Feel the texture and smell the aroma. So is this like chocolate already? It's, it's, yeah, it's almost like chocolate. Mm. It has to go through a, a much more thorough grinding process. Yeah. That, that's why normally it's placed into a country machine mm -hmm. and it's grinded for 48 hours. Mm -hmm. So two days of grinding. So the nibs grinded alone mm. can give you 100% chocolate. So oh. in Canadian chocolates, all we add is brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar. Yeah, brown sugar only. Yeah. And we have dark chocolates. So when it's dark chocolate, you don't have to add preservatives. Exactly. When it's dark chocolate, it's I didn't chocolate. know that. No, you didn't. Wow. So the dark chocolate, because look at this. So dark chocolate is totally it, pure, yes, like you know why? no preservative. It because it's naturally a preserver. If you leave it just like this, yeah, for twenty minutes. Mm. That's how hard it can become. So it's on its own. On its own, without any chemicals at all. Wow. So So this area here is just old government buildings. This is supposed to be the National Museum, but seems closed. So if you're here and it's open, it's worth going into because it will tell you a lot of history about Grenada, colonization, <coughs> indigenous people, everything. But it's been closed for a while now. So when you're here, check if it's open. So this Young Street. walking down what is called the carenage it is here by the water so it's a very nice walk you can see the blue waters the mountains with the houses the boats and uh, it's quite nice so make sure you walk around here there are travel companies a lot of uh, I think restaurants but they seem closed mostly but yeah it's a nice leisurely walk
this statue here is called Christ in the Deep. It's along the carnage and you can continue walking uh, along this path, along the coast if you want to. And it was a gift from the Italians. There was apparently an Italian ship that got caught fire here. And the people of Grenada were really gracious and hospitable to those the people and the passengers. And this was the gift. It is Christ blessing the sea. I'm a fan. <laughs> There are plaques that you can also learn a little bit about Grenada. For instance, they had a devastating uh, hurricane, Ivan, in 2004 that left a lot of destruction. So it tells you about presidents, about a guy who won the gold medal for Grenada for the first time and such. So you can walk around reading them and you'll understand a little bit about Grenada. And there are benches too, so you can come here, sit and relax by the sea. See? Look at the sunset view. Walk up this street called Hay Street, you'll find yourself on H.A. Blaze Street. Walk along to Green Street and look for these steps called Chapel Alley. Good evening. <laughs> Walk them up and to know you're in the right place, you should find yourself opposite the Swedish consulate. So this right here is the Swedish consulate. And the views, man. The views. Continue down that way on Lucas Street and soon you'll find yourself at the junction of Church Street. How do you know it's that one? You'll see the Roman Catholic Church and Market Street. And we are back to the church <laughs> we saw last time. And Market Street. So the market is down there. But yeah, I'm going directly now to the bus station. You can see the cruise ship and the sunset from here so nicely. If only it wasn't covered by the clouds, but it's still beautiful. That is it for St. George's. Let me know in the comments if you found it remarkable and if you want to see more of Grenada, click on this video right here.